Wait, what? No, 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 no. Something I always try to show on this channel is opportunities to make money, save money, or get what you want at a heavy discount. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you something I've done before, and in a moment, I'm gonna to explain to you why it's so important to do it again now. All right, so if you remember, back in November, I did an Amazon customer return box video. If you didn't see it, the concept is basically this. A company called liquidation.com buys customer return items from Amazon in varying qualities, and then bundles those items and then sells them to the public. The two types of quality of list are returns and salvage. Now I've had my fair share of experience with salvage and they can be both amazing money makers. Yes, it works, oh my God. And complete wallet sinkholes. <laughs> It just depends on your luck. So what you want to do if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck without gambling is looking for bundles labeled as returns and then getting something that you're interested in. The website operates on a classic bidding auction style, which is what leaves opportunity to get something for cheap. Now, as I've said, I've done this before. So why are we doing it again now? Well, if you check that video out, then you may have noticed it went kind of viral. I've been wanting to do more of these videos, but so many people started buying stuff off of liquidation.com after I made that, and the prices went up about five times as much. However, I've checked the website out recently, and the prices are finally back at a point where this kind of thing is profitable again. So if you haven't seen that video, or you just want a refresher, let me show you what the process looks like, and more importantly, let's see how much money we can make. Hello, I like money. All right, so we have two minutes and 23 seconds to bid on this pallet. It's got an RTX 2070. It's the ROG Strix version, which always go for a little bit higher money. And then as far as computer parts go, we also have a motherboard B450. Okay, so this can hold any of the new Ryzen processors for the time being. And it looks like a bunch of other office supplies with some small electronics, which could be worth something to somebody, just have to find the right buyer. $1,597 worth, and it's at 357 bucks, so 367 now. So every time you uh, place a bid within the last five minutes of an auction, it resets. I'm sitting here trying to figure out, do I wait till the last second to piss somebody off? <laughs> throw them off their game? Or do I just place a high enough bid and hold out? Ah, I kinda wanna mess with someone's mental right now. <laughs> No, no, what the hell? Oh man, this man really wants this item. Okay, so the thing to consider here is there is, like I said in the previous video, buyer's premium. You're gonna have to pay 10 extra percent plus tax. So if I get it for 410, not only is it gonna cost me 41 additional dollars, but then an additional 30-ish dollars, I assume for tax around there, I can still have a lot of space to make money here. No, did I get outbid? No, stop, stop. 430, bro, bring it on. Bro, this guy, oh my God, just leave it alone. At this point, I'm just here to troll. Oh, baby, is this going through? Come on, don't troll me, don't troll me. Yes! <laughs> I'm actually really happy about this purchase. And now we are going to be paying a total of $577.51 on this alone. I'm happy with that price. With all the other stuff that I'm getting, dude, no brainer. And then tomorrow we have one more auction that we need to get. And it is the one that I'm most excited about because as you guys might've also noticed from the previous video, liquidation.com sometimes makes mistakes and those mistakes can heavily pay off in our favor. Oh, okay. It is now, oh, 7.35. Okay, it's a little early for me, but uh, we have our second auction item here that we're trying to win and we have nine minutes left. So the reason this particular listing really catches my attention because in the title here, it says that it is selling a GeForce GTX 970, which is not too old of a graphics card and it still, you know, performs pretty well, uh, but you know, it's one of their main ticket items. Now, they list it in their manifest for $865. Oh my God. I mean, you can pick up one of these things for like $100 new if you go to the right places. And their retail price is just way off the charts. And I think the people who are bidding on this can see that. However, the people who are really paying attention click on these two pictures. And the only graphics card I see here is not 
a GTX 970. It's not even close. I was doing some research because I was trying to figure out, huh, this thing looks like a newer car. What does it look like? So I went to Newegg.com and I found out that this is actually a car that was released a couple months ago. It is an EVGA GeForce GTX 1660, which retails for about $250 you know, which is not that much higher than the $100 new for a 970 price, but it's still a very, very nice purchase. And I don't know how, how liquidation.com is messing this up. I mean, I'm thankful that they did because now if people were just reading the manifest list and are just trying to flip and make profit off of buying these bids or these auctions, just from what they can see and read on the manifest list, they're going to miss this nice purchase. So, what we're gonna do here is we got seven minutes left. Someone's only bid $200 and that we haven't even gone over everything else. We've got, let's put our bid in. We'll just do 210. Oh no, wait, do I really have to try to do this on my phone right now? Okay, I don't know why. It's not letting me do it on, <laughs> on desktop, which really freaked me out, but it says I am the high bidder here on my phone. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. That was a close one. Ah, the scams, they come in. Whoa, baby, I, whew, I lost my This was, this was, this was my lot. Ooh. Anyways, we are the high bidder. Hopefully it stays that way for another four minutes and 25 seconds as you see here. No, no. Wait, now mobile's freezing up on me. Please, please, ah, 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 it's not loading. Okay, there we go, place bid. Uh, I'm just gonna drop a 250. At this point, I swear there's just a little gremlin back there just hiking up this price. Is it the same bidder? Yeah, it's this L9 cat. Ugh. All right, my bid is currently at 420. Is this dude really, is he really going to make me pay $420 on 420? I swear. <laughs> I'd love to, I'd actually be okay with the price hike if you just do it for the meme. This dude actually made me pay $420 on 420. Oh my God, L9, F you. Okay, so we paid for our auction item, and now after the two winning bids, we have paid a grand total of $1,077.62. But our supposed retail value on these items total is supposed to be just over $4,000 or 4,000. 59 bucks. So we're getting what seems to be a really good value. Now what we're gonna go do is pick up our items, bring them back here and see how much we can maybe get for them, but then also see if liquidation.com did mess up yet again. All right, so as you've seen or may or may not have seen in the previous video, I live in town next to this liquidation.com and there are actually a few liquidation.coms in America. So. If you want to try and do this yourself and save, you know, a bunch of money on shipping, try to see if one is located in your city. Because if it is, shipping is the main factor when you think about, oh God, I'm going to have to pay this giant price. But because I don't have to, I'm allowed to spend a little bit more and help me try to make a better flip. Oh. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to have to leave the camera inside because... Uh, since the previous video, they may or may not have changed their uh, policy on letting cameras inside the facility. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome, I appreciate it. Okay, cool. So we have five boxes, so I'm gonna load them up, take them home, and then we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Car's full of shit, just the way I like it. Oh God, I need a shower. Okay, so remember, we spent a little over a thousand dollars on all of this stuff, and its supposed retail value is just over $4,000. So at a glance, we saved about 75% on all of this stuff. However, obviously, as we checked in the manifest list, some of that is not the correct guessing, and we're still trying to figure out if everything inside here was labeled correctly in the first place. I personally think that as long as we got a value of over $1,000 worth of stuff here, it's a win in my book, and it's at least worth trying. So let's see if we got there. 
We have a Sirius XM radio. Okay, supposedly $55 of value. I don't have a record player, but I imagine this is probably worth a dollar. <laughs> Okay, XLR cable. These are for microphones. These are actually worth a good amount. Probably like five bucks. An iPhone 7K, so this is probably another five, 10 bucks. Okay, Bluetooth headset, 10 bucks. Oh, it's an iPad 2 replacement screen, but it's cracked. Oh, wait. It's a turntable. Okay, 40 bucks, not bad. Pixel 3 case, 10 bucks. Another XLR cable, another five bucks. Car charger for your iPhone, 10 bucks. Really long USB-C cables, five, 10 bucks in total. Explorer 50, it's like one of those little Bluetooth pieces for your phone. Hey, we got a laminator. Okay, I know right off the bat, these things usually go for like 20, 20, 30 bucks. So I actually kind of need this, so this is worth. All right, next box. Oh, baby, okay. So, number one, we have an MSI B450 motherboard. From what I can tell, if this works... Wait, what? There are power supply cords in here, why? Oh, I see thermal paste around the pins. So this was definitely heavily used. This is where Amazon's return policy is a little too friendly, but even used, I would say this board is probably worth around at least 70 bucks. Oh man. Oh, this is a GeForce RTX 2070. These cards typically tend to go for around $500. And if you're getting the ROG Strix version, they go for even more. So brand new, something like this is worth $575, maybe 600. So used, Ooh, it smells new. Okay. I don't see any burned pins. Okay. Something like this. I think I could easily sell this for 400. No, no, no. It'd take me a little bit, but 450, I could sell this for easily. So I'm going to value it at 450 bucks. Got another record for my uh, record player. I really don't know the values of those things. I'm going to say a dollar maybe. <laughs> okay. This is toner. Okay, toner actually sells for a decent amount. The hard part is finding an office that wants to sell, or I mean buy rather, your used toner. Um, so you kind of have to find someone who needs it. And uh, we've got two cases over here. So uh, if we're being practical, I know I could sell this for your normal average going consumer. I'm gonna say for the sake of the video, it's worth $0. Maybe you need toner and that's nice, but it's difficult to sell unless you know someone who will buy it from you. iPhone charging cable, two bucks. Pink iPhone cable. Oh, it's 10 feet. Okay, this is easily worth like five or 10 bucks. Okay, this is a NutriChef. What? Oh, it vacuum seals your food. These things actually go for like 70 bucks. Okay, so use, I mean, it looks really good. I would say about 50 bucks for something like this. Quarter inch jack cable, probably five bucks. <laughs> a pack of balloons. Priceless. Ooh. 500 envelopes, probably worth $10 at least. Third box. All right, okay, so we have car laptop mounting system. This is for like people who do like PI work or for cops. I'm just gonna go ahead and safely guess this is worth $10. It's probably worth more, but you're gonna have a hard time finding someone to buy this. Oh, oh, this is worth a lot. Okay, so this is like something that people mount onto their helmets. It's for like motorcyclists who wanna be hands free. So the one I have specifically ranges anywhere from $300 to $500 new. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I could probably sell this for around 200 bucks on eBay easily. Next we have phones. No one uses these anymore, zero dollars. Bunch of sheet protectors, probably a dollar, two dollars. A broken iPhone 7 case. Zero dollars. And we have the binders that probably go paired with the protective sheets. Maybe for everything there, maybe a total of $15 actually. Hey, okay. So we have another screen replacement kit for Apple. What is this? Oh, this is actually for another iPhone 7. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and safely say this is worth at least 20 bucks. It could be worth 30 bucks. I know anytime I go to like an iPhone doctor or something, it costs like $50 minimum. Headphones. Kensington, five bucks. USB Bluetooth adapter for anything. Oh, this just makes it so that your computer can do Bluetooth. All right, this is probably worth about 10 bucks. Some used printer 
think. I'm gonna say zero dollars on this. This is, this is kind of hard to sell. And this is actually one of our other big ticket items. What is it called? Okay, it is a Casita counterfeit detector. Basically, it scans bills and checks to see if they are fake or not. Retail, this thing goes for about $150. I'm gonna say used. Could probably sell it for around 100 bucks. Hazel oak, oh, these are pastels. Okay, I'm gonna say five bucks. Oh, for 3D printing. ABS 3D printing filament. I still don't know what that is. Ah, okay, so it's like ink for 3D printers. That's so crazy. Okay, yeah, so this is worth about $20. Okay, cool. A, oh, this is a pen for touch pads. Okay, these are worth about five bucks. Oh, look, it's so cute. Okay, it's a keyboard that you can use with, it seems like, I don't know, this is for audio stuff. So like if you were trying to make songs, Fruity Loops, Logic, Pro Tools, stuff like that. This specific Akai LPK25 model is worth $50 new. So used, I would say you'd probably find this easily for 30 bucks. Okay, what is this? Portable CD radio boombox. <laughs> you could maybe find someone to buy this locally for like five bucks. Hey, we have new ink for a Canon printer. Now this is actually easier to sell because this is still sealed. So even though it's a little beat up, printer ink is kind of expensive. You could probably sell all of this. I would say 50 bucks, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and say these are worth about zero dollars. We have another. Why do I have boom boxes? <laughs> These are so not useful <laughs> anymore. Okay, looky here. We got an EVGA 400 watt power supply. Is this even certified? I have run gaming systems off 400 watts of power. It's definitely not the worst thing in the world, but it's close to it. The bare minimum you can find on power supply even uses like 20 bucks. So I could probably find someone to buy this pretty quickly for 15, $15. Oh, we got another one. Hey, we got another one. We got two 400 watt power supply. Well, we have one 400 watt power supply. No one really uses 400 watt power supplies for computers anymore. These are for computers in case you don't know. Still, I think I could sell these pretty quickly for 15 bucks. If I can't, I can easily put them in lower end gaming systems and sell them like that. Oh, this is actually really cool. So this is a USB to hard drive mount or SSD. So if you have any internal SSDs or HDD hard drives for your computer and you don't have any more space, you could just use it through a USB port. I have little hard drives sticking out like this so I can actually just use this instead of installing it and opening up my computer case and being the big pain in the butt. So I might actually keep this. This is probably worth around five, 10 bucks. Actually, no, I think this is probably close worth to 20. This is pretty useful. Okay, liquidation.com, moment of truth. Are you guys the biggest trolls of all time or do you actually mislabel stuff conveniently for us consumers to get a better deal? Let's find out. Where is it? Here it is. Ready? Wait, what? No, what? No, 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 no. No way. This says, RTX 2080, but on the manifest list it said 970. Don't get my hopes up. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't you do this to me. GeForce GTX 970 packaged in an RTX 2080 box and they easily, easily fooled not only liquidation.com but clearly amazon.com. This graphics card right now used sells for $100. That's a price that you can get it for moderately quickly. But they went so far as to label this on the manifest list. Eight hundred dollars of value. They actually thought that this was an RTX 2080. I mean, I thought it was an RTX 20. Oh my God. Kind of sucks. Uh, it's not worth nothing. 
let's just keep moving on. We have a switch. This is basically to kind of expand ethernet cables if you're running an office space. Probably worth around 50 bucks. Wireless portable speaker, Bluetooth, 10 bucks. Wearable wireless microphone. Okay, these things are really cheap, especially from Furbu, so. <laughs> probably only worth about five bucks. I know I keep saying things are worth five bucks, but when something is used and it's not desirable, five bucks is pretty much the go-to selling point if you just wanna get rid of it, which is what I'm trying to price it at because I wanna make this a realistic example of what someone like you, a consumer, not some large retailer, could expect to sell these products for. Logitech, wireless mouse, five bucks. Okay, this is cool. We got a little mixer. Does it do USB? It does not. Okay. Well, even still, mixers are actually worth a decent amount of money. You can definitely buy one of these little cheapo ones and get away with DJing a small party. So something like this, 20 bucks. More toner, $0. Uh, that's toner. We have, what is here? Another CD, $0 here too. Android case, two bucks. 10 foot iPhone cables. Oh, we got a little wireless earbuds, okay. Probably worth about $10, $20, depending on who you find. I'm gonna say $20, these are actually pretty cool. They seem quality. More iPhone charging cables. Another XLR cable, five bucks. Two more dollars iPhone cable. And lastly, we have a, it seems to be a wireless charging device, but because it doesn't say at all what it charges, I'm gonna say zero dollars. Okay, so we've gone through everything and I don't have the math right in front of me, but I will have the number up on screen for you guys to be able to tell and see for yourself if doing something like this with liquidation.com is worth it. Now, assuming you're gonna to try to do this yourself, the avenues you wanna go for selling this stuff to either make your money back or get a profit are gonna be eBay, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist, and basically any other buying and selling application you know of. Some items are harder to sell than others, so I would stress that you stay patient while you try to do this. Based on everything that I have here that I actually gave some value to, I would estimate it will probably take me a total of two and a half to three weeks to sell everything. Now that said, I'm not going to sell everything and I've actually saved quite a bit of money from what I can tell based on the computer parts that I'm actually going to be keeping from everything that we bought. But as I've clearly shown you, liquidation.com does make mistakes. Now, how you wanna take advantage of these mistakes you could probably already tell which would be most beneficial for you. There's a, there's some potential to uh, exploit. I'm not encouraging that and you should not do that. However, liquidation.com, Amazon, y'all need to figure out what's going on because this is a $700 mistake. And unfortunately, I'm the one who ends up paying for it and it seems like Amazon might've actually paid for it too if they let this go through, but it is what it is. Now, this isn't to say that liquidation.com specifically hasn't made a mistake that benefited me in the past. So the overall message that I'm trying to convey here is that be careful of what you purchase. Even if you see a mistake that could end up being in your favor, you might wanna consider all the possibilities because, uh, <sighs> anyways, I hope you guys found this video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, there are some announcements. Number one, if you want to ask any questions about the videos, parts, anything that we do specifically for this channel, join the Discord server. I see a lot of people asking questions in the comments and those kind of get buried sometimes. So I have a link to the Discord server in the description if you want any more information about this stuff or if you want a community to hang out with because uh, we kind of do some fun stuff when we're not on YouTube. I'm also streaming a lot more often live on Twitch. I have a link in the description to that as well. We do fun prizes, giveaways, and also concerning Twitch. I was recently selected to be a part of Streamer Camp 2 hosted by some four pretty big personalities on Twitch, Slightly Musical, Box Box Foosley, and 100 Thieves Valkyrie. And if you wanna tune in and watch any of the stuff that's gonna be happening there on their channels from June 4th to June 10th, I will be with them. So yeah, that was everything I had to say. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Hope you found it creative, entertaining, or informative, and you learned a way to make or save some money. And as always, have a great day.